The VS Code Killer, Zed. What is Zed? Zed is a high performance multiplayer code editor from the creators of Atom and TreeSitter. It's also open source, which means you can view the code on GitHub at any time you like. We're gonna go through the download process, but first let's take a look at this diagram. As we can see here, Zed is a lot faster than Sublime Text, VS Code, and C Line. This is highly efficient for software developers to get their work done a lot faster as it has a display of refresh effectancy. Z efficiency leverages every CPU core and your GPU to start instantly, load files in a blink and respond to your keystrokes on the next display fresh. Z supports GitHub Copilot out of the box and you can use GPT-4 to generate and refactor code by pressing Control, Enter and typing a natural language prompt. This is actually just what I'm reading off the website. <laughs> it can work on almost any machine, but it's the most very lightweight text editor and it's uh, fairly new. So here we go. We're going to go through the download process now on the Mac M1 MacBook Air. I'm going to install it on the M1 MacBook Air and see how it goes and see how well it is. Stay tuned. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click this download button here. And once you do that, you can, it says download for Mac OS, click that, and essentially you'll be taken to this page and it will download. As you can see, I've already downloaded it, but when you do download it and you open it and you open the DMG file and you agree to it and you start opening it and when this happens, you just drag this into the applications folder. And once you do that, you have successfully installed Z. And now here it is. This is just an example of mine. I've opened a sample project, which was a social media app. And you can see here, this is what Z looks like. Play around with it, see how, how well it goes, and what your thoughts are on this type of uh, text editor. Try it out, use it. Okay, so that is it, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next.